What's crack a lack and it's Anna Sione here with another makeup tutorial for you. Today's look is all about the movie His House on Netflix. I'm going to use some FX makeup techniques to achieve this look. This movie is about a couple who makes an intense escape from their homeland in South Sudan to the UK. It shows their struggle in adjusting in their new land and also the evil lurking in their new home. It's a very intense, empowering movie, and I highly suggest you go see it on Netflix. But without further ado, let's get into the look. All the supplies you would need are listed in the description below, as well as links on where to get them. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and smash the notification bell so you are updated every time I post a video. So I made this mask and then I didn't record anything. I didn't do, I, I just didn't, I forgot. Okay, so now I had to make a second mask and guess what because of my mistake you benefit I am giving away this mask. It's yours if you want it. It's brand new. I just made it. It's yours All you have to do is like subscribe share and comment down below that you want this mask And if you really really want the one I already made and stuck to my face you can have that one too Just comment below and I'm gonna choose a random lucky winner all right, let's do this. So the character we are creating from His House by Remy Weeks is Nigak, and I hope I said that right. So we're gonna start off with some latex paste. You can create latex paste by using latex and flour. So get yourself a mixing bowl, a mixing spatula, some latex and flour. So slop a glob of latex into your bowl. I don't know how much, just about this much. And gradually add some flour into it as you mix it you don't want to dump all your flour into it right away because it will turn it into like a little cement block and that's not what you want so once your latex paste is the consistency that you are looking for so something similar to this you're now ready to build on your practice head I'm using a little silicone practice head. If you're doing this for yourself, it'd be better to have a live cast, but I don't have one, even though I should get one made. But anyways, all I'm really doing is grabbing a glob. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice just like totally cracked. Grabbing a blob of latex and slopping it on the face and smoothing it around with my metal spatula. Uh, to try to cover as much of the face as I can because I'm making a very thin uh, mask. I want it a little thicker on the edges so that I can lift it up and it will look like a mask when I apply it to my face. Uh, as the same around the eye sockets as well. So just getting the desired shape that I want uh, that matches the mask from the movie as best as possible. And once you've achieved that nice, even cream cheese, smooth, whatever you want to call it on the face, you can move into either smoothing it or leaving it chunky looking. And I think leaving the chunks and pieces actually adds character to the mask. So I'm not going to smooth this out with more latex. So at the opposite end of my tool, or you could use a toothpick or anything uh, small and sharp or pointed. And I'm just going to mark out some of the designs on the mask around the eye sockets and the mouth. So on the top of the mask, there are these bumps and I used some tiny styrofoam balls that I got from the dollar store. But you can use craft pom poms or any kind of little small beads or something like that uh, that's round to just stick right on the forehead. And it really doesn't matter what color it is because you're going to paint it anyways. Then I heated up some polymorph beads and made some teeth for the inside of the mask's mouth. Mouth's mask, mask's mouth, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. I made some teeth for the mouth, dang it. So you just heat these little babies up. They melt into this weird plastic thing that you can now shape and form and make into what you want. So I square my, or not square, I triangulate them and make teeth. I don't know what I'm talking about. 
But anyways, do that a bunch of times, make a bunch of them, and then stick them on the mouth. When you're done sticking them on the mouth, then you're going to want to latex a little bit on top of that so they stay stuck there. So we're just going to make like a sandwich of latex. Latex on the bottom, tooth, latex on the top. But this mask also has like a little ear nub, so I wanted to incorporate that. So I let this dry just a little bit, just so it got not as, I don't know how to describe it, just like not wet, not as wet. There's a top layer of dryness. Then I took a glob of the latex paste and I schlopped an ear on the side and began to build it. As this mask dried, I also kept coming back and reforming the ear and kind of sculpting it out a little bit because it was still wet in the inside and not wet on the outside, so it was easier to do. I don't know if I mentioned this, but put a line around the mouth as well to kind of emphasize the lips. So let's apply this thing. I ended up throwing my hair in some loose braids. My ring light was freaking out and I went to go shut it off and then it started acting weird and then it shut off completely. And it's so funny because like the character I'm doing, that's like her thing. She like turns off the lights and it's like, what the heck is happening? But anyways, I threw on some necklaces that I just had in my house that I thought looked similar to the necklaces worn in the movie. Um, they are not the same, but use what you have. So starting off with some school glue, I prep my eyebrows and hairline so that I don't get any latex or anything on them. So let's be real. Typically you would use like a prosaid or a spirit gum or something like that to adhere this to your face. But I was like, I'm only wearing this for this video realistically and I'm going to take it right off. I'm just going to use a light tap of latex just to stick it to my skin. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. She said, but obviously that's not going to work. So I had to latex it a little bit on the sides and ugh, it was annoying throughout the whole process. So I don't suggest using latex to stick it onto your face. I know that I just, I was trying to be lazy and obviously karma struck. But anyways, let's get to painting. Using my clown white from Mayron, I give the whole mask a nice coat. And it's okay if you see some holidays poking through there meaning the color is shining through from the mask because you want all those levels of texture, trust me. So once I got good coverage of the white on the face, I added some black Mehron Star Blends on top just to dirty up the mask a little bit and give it some age. Using the same powder, I blacked out my eyes, then went back in with Tag Black Body Paint and did the same for the mouth. As you can see, the mask is definitely falling off my face, but we're going to roll with it. Ignore that. Then we take some black tag body art and outline the circles around our eyes, making sure to go into the grooves that we already created in the mask. This help gives it different levels of dimension. Now adding more water into my tag body paint, I create some teardrops from each eye socket. And if you need to fake some of the teardrops just to get the right shape, absolutely do it. I'm just filling in around the edges of the eye sockets and the inner edges of the mouth. On the outer edge of the mouth, I'm using a dirty red uh, blah, 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 face paint <laughs> by Tag. I'm just using red and black face paint by Tag. That's what I'm using. Then you're going to make some little cracks coming out of different parts of the mask. And of course, don't forget the ear. And you're pretty much done. That's it. That's really it. And then you take some weird, creepy pictures. And that's it, y'all. But yes, make sure you leave a comment down below to win this mask. It's yours. It's yours if you want it. Just message me. Put a comment down below. Subscribe. Like. Share. Do all the things. And be awesome every day. Because you are. All right, y'all. See you later. Bye. <laughs>